I'm Sarah Fay, and we're here at the Ad Tech Chairman's Reception with someone who is very near and dear to me, a former colleague and my boss for many years, David Verklin, who is beloved and actually helped to launch or did launch the Cara brand in the United States. For the last few years, David has been working in the investment world, so I kind of want to talk to him about that. You know, for many years, he was evaluating companies in the media business, and today he's he's still evaluating companies in the media biz business, but with uh, an investor's lens, which which is a little bit different. I kind of want to hear about what that's like for you, David. Well, it's great to be here, and congratulations for uh, for being the chairman of, of tonight's festivities. Um, I'm in private equity, so and, and my focus is really in the TMT sector, the technology, media, and telecommunications sector. And we look at companies that are that are at uh, fairly late stage. Um, I also do some angel investing where I'm involved in early stage companies. So, and I, you know, the the the, the advertising and marketing services waterfront's pretty big. So the answer is I, I'm really seeing a lot of stuff. A couple of uh, of thoughts. I don't think I've I've been doing this almost 40 years in the advertising and marketing services space. I don't think I've ever seen a more exciting time. There are so many new ideas, and the innovations happening at the edge of the marketplace. If you know what I mean, it's the edge where we see the innovation. And uh, I think in particular, online video is the space that people are really excited about. I think content marketing is another space that everybody's kind of buzzing about. Um, I think that's not to say that RTB and, uh, and, and analytics aren't continuing to be interesting, but I think at this moment in time, Online video and kind of content marketing are the two spaces we're paying a lot of attention to. Multi-screen or, or multi-platform video migration is, is, is just, I think, the space everybody is, is just fascinated with. How is video going to jump platforms? And companies are being created and new ideas are being created in the marketplace at a rate unlike anything I've seen before. No, I think that's absolutely true. And I know, you know, you've always been a champion of, of um, entrepreneurs. I know, uh, you know, a lot of entrepreneurs have, have talked about you lovingly in the marketplace. I remember telling someone that, you know, David Berglund was a mentor to me. And they said, really? Because he's our mentor, too. <laughs> so, I mean, you're, you're finding a way to stay involved. You're finding a way to still meet with these types of, of people. And I think it's kind of interesting. Your little angel group are all former media executives, That's isn't correct. that right? So, I mean, you must be giving some companies a huge advantage if you if you invest in them. Can you talk about sure. any of the any of the ones you have invested in? Sure. Um, yeah, I, I'm involved with a company called VFL, um, and that's a, a kind of a joint um, uh, uh, partnership between uh, myself. Uh, Steve Farella, the uh, former uh, CEO of uh, Young and Rubicam and the creator of MPG and Havas, and Mike Latito, the former uh, CEO of, of Initiative and Media IQ. And the three of us have gotten together to see if we can help young entrepreneurs and early stage companies, both with some capital in some cases, in other cases it's with advisory work, in other cases it's board participation or advisory board participation. And um, it's really exciting. I mean, we see we see three or four uh, 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 companies a month, um, and there's a couple that I'm really excited about. Um, I'm, I'm very, very excited about a little company called Smidgen, smidgen.com, S-M-I-G-I-N.com, and Smidgen is in the online and mobile learning space, language learning. So think of them as a competitor for Rosetta Stone, but this is where you can learn a smidgen of a language, right? So in two weeks, we can teach you a smidgen of French or a smidgen of Spanish. And this is really great for business travelers. Yeah. And I'll tell you, the first pickup has actually been flight attendants. Love this kind of rapid, uh, uh, using a mobile um, app for online language learning. So, I mean, I, I could go on, but, but like we see a bunch you, of stuff. You could use. I could use that, too. <laughs> There's so much interesting stuff happening in the yeah. marketplace, and I love young entrepreneurs, and I like encouraging young entrepreneurs. And, you know, three former media executives, you know, we have the ability to 
to, to, to take particularly marketing services oriented startups and maybe get them into test or situations with big agencies. I think one of the things I hear in the marketplace, you and I are both former big agency executives, and you know, there's been so much consolidation on the agency side of the business that at times it's hard to know where you even start at MediaVest or our old company Cara or at, at uh, OMD or at Digitas or at, uh, at uh, uh, any of the big Martin, the Martin agency. And you know, we can help at least introduce young companies to the agency world and begin to get them um, acclimated and introduced. And at this point, I know you know people in all of those places <laughs> I as I do. Many of them so, work for you and me. Yeah, you know? exactly. That's exactly. just a, that's longevity yeah, and age. Yeah, and I know David that you are still finding your way onto stages, and um, <laughs> you will hopefully always do that because he's the the best speaker I've ever known. So, well, thank you for joining us here tonight, and we can go down to the party. You got it. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for having me, and I'm really so proud to be here. But I'm also so proud to call Sarah Faye a friend and uh, and colleague. Thanks very much.